So Alex got two changes. And I already put them on Twitter if you guys want to see. Um, but basically, EX Head Crush, they changed the movement value before startup, making it more difficult to leap over an opponent at close range. This has been fucking annoying. Um, so what this means is, uh, Alex's EX Headbutt, for those that don't know, is throw invincible. So you would think you would use it against a meaty command grab. But a lot of command grabs in this game have animations that kind of put them forward a little bit. So when you use this and they do a command grab, sometimes the EX Head Crush would whiff and you would land point blank right in front of, like, behind them. Uh, and they would get a big punish, you know, because you're still in recovery. They're in recovery too, but they recover way before you. So this sucked. Uh, now this doesn't happen, apparently. Um, and I'll, I'll probably go over that in a minute. I'll just do another, like, Alex setup or something. Uh, and then we got V-Skill 2, Light Stampede. So, made it harder to leap over the opponent when canceling from another special move at close range. Uh, this is in reference to the Light Elbow to the Light Stomp combo. Uh, which does, used to work, and then they took it away, and now it's back again. Um, you, it actually does work currently with a mid-screen Light Elbow into Light Stomp, but it didn't work from standing medium punch, Light Elbow, Light Stomp. So now we always can do that instead of having to do um, medium elbow into medium uh, knee. This is not a major buff, in my opinion, um, because we still get Okazeme from the medium elbow uh, knee combo and probably more damage, I'm guessing. Uh, but getting a forced hard knockdown is obviously super, super good. If anything, I think... I think V Trigger 2 is even less useful. So basically when I had um when Honda had this extension in the corner, obviously getting this full combo, like it was his best um if you could get the light headbutt or heavy headbutt in the corner and get that juggle, that's really fucking good. Um now that he doesn't have that, the the incentive to get the corner is less useful than before. And with V Trigger 2, obviously any confirm will get the corner. Um so yeah, that's uh, that's not great. Uh, it's more important now for Honda to just probably pick the trigger one, in my opinion. So this this is a pretty big nerf. For, it's a it's a nerf for Honda, but Honda is still fucked for not having an answer for Fireball. So it's it doesn't really change much, I guess. It just makes the whole crazy patches and buffs that he got before not that great. Um. Like, the whole low four being plus, uh, I think, six or five. This being good is, like, whatever. Ozone, you can see it on my Twitter, but I already talked about it uh, a little bit ago. And patch notes are on a command. Yeah, so Honda, just very unfortunate. <laughs> That's a sad nerf. Oh, yeah, look at that. So it's similar to V-Trigger 1. It's, like, a, like at minimum, with Alex, you're getting medium. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. No autopilot offense for you, Camis. I wonder if it's the same for EX Hooligan into dive kick. No, that still looks really plus. Okay. Like, the recovery is still really good on this. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The recovery on EX Hooligan is, is better, for sure. EX Hooligan uh, arrow. Okay. So, they can't just autopilot, like, do this without there being somewhat of a risk now if the opponent has godlike reactions. No, no! No! <laughs> what? Okay, wait, not that good. Okay, uh, it's not active immediately, the attack. But, oh, no. That's really good. That's, like, one of his biggest weaknesses. <laughs> uh, you sh and you can direct it. You can direct it. That's why I was whipping before. Okay. So if I just hold forward after doing it, like, it'll... Yeah. That's, that's really great. How great for guild players. So cool. Only on EX, though, thankfully. So it's kind of like Alex's knee. Sounds like, or looks like. Because a regular knee will just get stuffed. Even if I do it early. Yeah. Let's see, let's double check, because I don't know. That's uh, actually forward medium kick, this move. 
Increase damage to 70, shorten the startup from 13 to 11. Entire move shortened by two frames. Extended the hitbox forward. It's like a mid-screen track. It looks pretty, uh, pretty big, actually. Look how big this is. I'm not sure he's ever had this kind of presence. Reduce the foot hip hurtbox size backwards. Reduce distance traveled forward from the start of the move to the end. Increased it. Okay, yeah, they definitely increase it. Can now be canceled with V trigger one and V trigger two on hit or block. Oh. Oh yeah, definitely better than Sobot. Wow, nice. So he's got a really good activation button. Possibly one of the best in the game. Just off that. Like, look how fast this thing is. This is a this is a brutal neutral button. I hope you guys like to look at this. Because the good Nashes are going to be using this. <laughs> wow, the distance is crazy. The distance is actually kind of crazy on this. This looks janky as fuck. <laughs> Such a janky move. Like, bro, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, from a walk-up, I can land, like, almost a sub-meaty with this move. What the fuck? So he's got a better check that will lead into knockdown at all times now. And he's got this button. Hmm. Oh, and the, the string looks like this. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna guess his utility hasn't really changed. It doesn't seem like he's he's still very much that space control mid to long screen character that forces you to try to like come in too hot and then he anti airs or whatever. But he just has a better way of like this is just a good all purpose button. I feel like it's gonna be used extremely often. And the, and the, as soon as they're worried about it, he starts you know sonic booming into pressure. Yeah, so, seems strong. Seems a little, uh, quite a bit stronger. That feels like a... That feels like... Such a critical part of his game plan now. In conclusion, because I think now we've officially gone through every character. Um, I will say, besides Nikali, which is extremely hilarious to read, that his, his buffs that he got don't even work. Uh, every buff that I've read, for the most part, was really cool. Um, so I, I like these changes. They, they they basically add to the character or take away from something that I consider really annoying and brain dead. Just going one by one real quick. The Nash buffs, the most impressive thing to me was definitely the jumping Sobot. This thing looks really abusable, so I hope Nash players start to mash the shit out of it. Cammy, um, I still think she's top five personally. It's just like now more people are going to look to um, V-shift her stuff, but I still think she's really broken, so... She has a dive kick in a game where, like, only another character has a dive kick, so she's dumb. Birdie, I don't think it was anything big. Ken, Ken looks really sick. Ken looks really sick. The roundhouse buff is cool. I think the crouch medium kick into heavy shuriyuken is really cool. Um, crouch heavy punch buff is super good for both V skills. So he's way, uh, he's way more neutral focused than before. So very, very cool. Uh, Nikali, just laugh at Nikali, he doesn't exist in this game. Uh, Vega, I think it was just glitchy stuff. Mika, I hope more people use V-Trigger too, but I feel like most Mikas are still gonna play like, uh, their brain is on fire, so... It's whatever. Uh, I didn't really understand the Rashid change. Zangief, uh... It is hilarious that he is a career grappler without a grab invincible special. Uh... But yeah, that's that's just hilarious. Uh, Laura, he's trigger two. No one's ever going to use it. I, I like that they're trying to get people to use it, but I think most Lauras have already committed to like autopilot mid screen into you know mix to death. Maybe Idom will use it in some matchups where he doesn't need the advantage of V trigger one, and other strong Lauras of course too. But I think most Lauras in general will pick the far superior V skill one. Uh, Yoga Gale can now be canceled from Yoga Sensara. So this sounds cool. I'm not good enough with. Dalsim to lab this, but this sounds cool. So more V Trigger 2 Dalsim stuff is, is pretty nice. Fong, it's whatever. Alex, obviously I gotta talk about Alex. Uh, this not being glitchy is really good. And this V Skill 2 combo into Light Stomp is good for creating um, the hard knockdown setups. It's basically, ju this just means hard knockdown setups are more accessible for Alex. Uh, so that's 
That's obviously great. I'm glad we got this back. We actually lost this in the patch, so we got it back. This song's amazing, by the way. I love this song. Uh, Ibuki, I don't care. Balrog, hilarious. It's not even hilarious. This is just fair. He needs to be punished on negative four stuff, so I'm glad the meme caught up with him. Uh, Urien, uh, this is also just fair. The EX Chariot Tackle nerf. Um, now that we could grab his ass from that, I feel like this move is still going to be abused, but it's going to be more punishable, which is good. We'll make this character a little bit more brain silly. Uh, Akuma, I'm very curious to like watch other better players mess with V-Skill 2 and V-Trigger 2, because I didn't really go through a lot of these changes. Uh, I did go through this one, though, with the Fierce Punch. That seems really strong. Um, like, being Fierce being linkable into that. But the V-Skill gain you get on V-Skill 2 is not that great, so... I don't think it outclasses one, personally, but yeah, I'd be curious to see what the more explorative Akumas do with this stuff. That's the that's the tone of this entire patch, because they they just they even said it in the intro. They buffed the little used V skills and V triggers to make them more widespread for for meta. And I think they succeeded for some characters, but more often than not, they failed. Like if anything, they just buffed like. Like, the more V-Skill stuff, I guess. V-Skills are more accessible. I don't think any V-Trigger meta has changed. I'm looking through the cast real quick. I guess I'm wrong. But I think the V-Trigger meta is still relatively the same. Yeah, I don't think anything changed on that front. But, but more lesser-used tools to actually buff characters was definitely happening here. Uh, the Colleen V-Trigger 1 buff, to me, it seems still bad compared to 2, because 2 is just so ridiculous. I think Cammy might start thinking about V-Trigger 2. Possibly. I I doubt it, though. But, I mean, it's it's not a bad V-Trigger in any sense of the word. She Cammy? Okay, the thing is, Cammy, yes, she's vulnerable to V-Shift, but it's still a fucking dive kick. And it's still a resource that they, one, don't always have, and two, relies on a reaction... Like, just a straight reaction, because you can't do it from block. So it's it's a slightly harder than normal reaction. So that's why I don't think it's too crazy, uh, that nerf. But the really strong players that train against Kami are going to take advantage of the weaknesses that she received, for sure. 100%. But most people are still going to get fucked by Kami. Like, you know. And the good Kamis are going to mix up their timing, so that they works it, what they do works on the strong players. Um, okay, we were at... Abigail, uh, these are hilarious nerfs. I'm glad that he has to think more. Manat, I gotta try this out later. Uh, Sakura, I'm gonna watch somebody explain that to me. This doesn't seem that crazy, though. Blanca, he definitely got buffed. I love that they buffed V-Trigger 1 for Blanca, because most Blancas will use V-Trigger 2, obviously, for the mix-up potential, the damage. It's, it's much more of a robbery V-Trigger than 1. V-Trigger 1, however, is usable because it's really good for optimizing as neutral. It makes every button knock down. Um, and uh, it gives him kind of an armor break gimmick, but the the cool thing is it makes his normals, like, all scary, which is a problem he has outside of V-Trigger. So I'm glad they buffed it. Uh, I like the double electric. That's just swaggy. I don't know if it's super good, but it's definitely swaggy. Um, it actually is pretty good because you could combo on the slide. No doubt. It's definitely better. Definitely better. So that's cool. I'm glad they buffed that. They make it more worthwhile to do Thunder instead of um, just doing the shave roll on reaction, you know? So that's cool. Falka, uh, it's whatever. Cody, this normal sounds hilariously busted, but whatever. This is actually one of the sickest changes, actually. Like him being able to do v uh, level 2 moves and level 3, that sounds really cool. So I think the really strong G players are gonna be very interesting to watch now he he has more depth now instead of just uh just always doing the level three now he'll probably mix up his combo potential a little bit um so he's cool he's just cooler i still think i think g is just a monkey like he's just a he's for animals he's for gorillas but uh the fact that he has a little bit more brain cell is is nice but he's still a gorilla's character um so I got buff to v skill two that's cool i don't think it's a big deal but it's cool uh, Kage. Kage, it's just basically is allowed to pressure instead of getting V-shifted all the time. So that's cool. 
Uh, I don't think anything else is too major here. Uh, Honda losing the corner combo. That's hilarious because that's like one of the best things that he got in the patch, in my opinion. Besides the... Um... Honestly, like, the Honda patch, like, now that he got... Now that he doesn't get the corner combo anymore, the Honda patch didn't really change much, in my opinion. Like, in fact, it almost changed nothing. Because... I, I will always keep saying this. Honda gets bodied by Fireball, and they, they only lightly buffed his V-Skill 1. So he's... Uh, they definitely intended V-Ship to be such a big thing for him to use against these counter picks. So I think... I think... He's definitely in a weaker spot, but it's not that much different because Honda's always been kind of weak, in my opinion. He's still like a character that relies on very strong special moves to bully you. But if you know the counter to them, you will immediately counter pick him. 